Once upon a time, Johnny Depp was the most intriguing actor in Hollywood. Now, one hit franchise will usher in the end of his creative choices, turning him into a boring parody of himself. But who cares? Now he owns a fucking island. Pirates of the Caribbean. Witness the Disneyfication of pirates, history's most notorious foul-mouthed rapists and murderers, where the cursing is PG. Pestilent, traitorous, cow-hearted, yeasty codpiece, ruthless, soulless, cross-grained cur. Race of yours, you cat and a Rape becomes raid. Raid, pillage, plunder, and otherwise pill from all Weasley black cats. Yeah. And murder is physically impossible. <laughs> Oh, not dead. No. Buckle your swashes for Curse of the Black Pearl, a straightforward adventure romp that everyone loved. Then, Dead Man's Chest, that everyone was sort of on board for, where they all betray each other to find a teleporting squid monster's heart. At World's End, that everyone was totally fed up with, where they all betray each other while the squid monster teams up with the British East India Company, causing the pirate UN to release a sea goddess who's in love with the squid monster, except for when she isn't. And on Stranger Tides, that finally got- Wait, what? They made a fourth one? Oh, how many of these things can they do? They're based on a fucking theme park ride, for God's sake. Johnny Depp shines as Jack Sparrow. Captain Jack Sparrow. The legendary pirate made out of dreadlocks and guideliner. Watch this Oscar-worthy match between actor and role as he hams it up with a trademark barrage of catchphrases. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. Savvy, 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 savvy. Impractical escapes. Silly Walks. In this half-drunk Keith Richards impression that really should be dead by now. Kind of like Keith Richards. Does his face look like it's been to the fountain of youth? Spend the rest of your time in the pale embrace of the boring lovers, Orlando Bloom and Kira Knightley. Two perfect faces in the middle of a scurvy-ridden hellhole, whose will-they-won't-they -they relationship will have everyone saying, where did Jack Sparrow go? until they're replaced in the fourth one by their cheaper but just as pale equivalents. Batten down the hatches for nearly 10 overstuffed maritime hours of impossible sword fights. Stupid wigs. Terrible teeth. Alcoholism. Why is the rum gone? Why is the rum always gone? Rum's gone too. By the rum. That song from the ride. Drink up, me hearty Joe. Yo. Yo, no, 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 I love this song. And women dressed in cinema's least convincing boy disguises. Most as you're not. I would totally pork that dude. Starring Captain Jack Sparrows from any more of these movies. Kira Daly. Barnacle Bill. Why not Zoidberg? Finicky. Deadwood Men Tell No Tales. Captain Morgan, Miss Cleo, a Japanese porn star, and Orlando, Florida, Jack Sparrow of the Caribbean, and some other pirates. You used to be cool, man. What the hell happened to you? Close your eyes and pretend it's all a bad dream. That's how I get by. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. Hey, Screen Junkies, do you love movies as much as we do? Then check out Movies on Break, where you can watch tons of full-length movies for free on Break.com or any of Break's free mobile apps. Click the link in the description below to start watching and tell them Screen Junkies sent you. Why is the rum always gone? You can catch flies with honey, but you catch more honeys being fly. Ronnie James Dio. Chubby Wuzzle Nuzzles are the pickle. Bring me everyone. Everyone!